So now in business one you can see that I have activated the cockpit and also a browser widget which loads the BI on demand start page which is uh, if you go to settings bi.ondemand.com so in here I will first need to enter my credentials and I will also check here the checkbox keep me logged in for two weeks so that I can seamlessly use the BI on demand integration for two weeks without logging in again So now we are logged into BI On Demand. So what I will do next is to uh, upload two queries I have prepared directly to BI On Demand. So first of all, have a quick look at the queries. So in the Query Manager, you can find two different queries. I have a BP Account Balance and Credit Limit query and the uh, Invoices by Document Date query. So let's do just a quick run of them so the BPA account balance and credit limit query looks like this so we have uh, only customers and the balance and credit limit and the other query lists all invoices sorted by the posting date and you can see lots of them so we have 236 records here. I would be able to upload it directly to BI On Demand with one click, but this would be then an ad hoc query, which I am not going to use. I would show you how to manage the queries by the BI On Demand integration. So therefore, I will close the query manager and go to the administration module and then on BI on demand integration. So as you can see here we have an empty list of queries and what I will do now is now I will enter those two queries. So I have one here directly the BP account balance and credit limit query and the next one would be invoices by document date. So I'm going to select both of them at the same time and select upload now. I will get now a system message which tells me okay there's a maximum of 10 megabyte allowed and this data sets contain 244 lines. I would say yes and I will soon get here in the bottom um, um, system message data sets successfully uploaded. Okay, so if I go now, if I close this, and I will just refresh now here my BY on demand um, browser widget. You can now see that we have successfully uploaded both query results as so-called data sets. So let's have a quick look at them. Just I just clicked on the first one. And as you can see, we have here our um, business partners together with their balance and credit line. I could edit the data here. So let's say to see what if, to change some data, or I can directly explore it. So now when the explorer has loaded my data set, I can scroll down to see, let's say, a first guess how my graph could look like. So I can do quickly changes in here. For example, I want to see the card name, not the card code. And in addition to the balance, I would also like to see the credit line, for example.
So this was an easy way to create, let's say, a quick visualization of our data set, of our query results. I can now create a visualization here. and have now stored my data set as a graphical illustration. So what I can do else? So I don't want to show you too much on Beyond Demand because it has so many function so much functionality. But let's do two or three more things. So now I can also change the name here. So I will give it a new name and I call it um BP balance and credit limit and save so if I click here again on reports and data I can get back to my start screen and I will also show you the other query invoices by document date And I will click Explore again. Okay, so now I will change here a different measuring. So I will change uh, it from document number to document total. As you can see now below, we have now here the document total of each customer. So let's go up again and I can now create another visualization out of this. I will edit the name and call it business partner invoices and document total and save it again so and the last thing I would like to show you is you can also combine different data sets so let's go once more back to the main screen I will now just right click here and say combine with another data set and I will now combine the BP account balance and credit limit data set together with the invoices by document date data set just click on next You can now see both of the data sets still separated and also combined. Okay, so I agree with the changes and say combine data sets. So with this combined data set, I can now at least change the order and if for example I would like to sort it uh, with document number I can just press here in the document number tab perfect and now I would be able to uh, explore this data And now, for example, show again the card name. And I would also 
just want to see in addition to the balance the document total of the business partner so with this I'm um, saving the last visualization and I will rename it to business partner invoices with document total balance and say save changes so with this I have created three visualizations and I can now if I would like to do this go to the dashboard functionality of BI on demand and add content. So I just click here on add content and now I can select each visualization I will choose all of them so this one the other one and the combined one and say close gallery So, and I can now move them just right next to each other. And if I would like, I can do quickly a full screen view of one of these uh, visualizations. So, on this dashboard, you can see now all my three visualizations. And if I would now change something, so let's say in the um, transactional data, this will be reflected not directly on the BI on demand platform. I will need to update my query and re upload it to BI on demand. So, this is something I would like to show you now at last. So, if we, for example, take this query here the balance and credit limit, we can easily change the credit limit in business one. So, I will do this right now. I will go here to the business partners. Just uh, pick one customer let's take uh, the first one I will change here the credit line to let's say 1 million and say copy to field and update it and if I would now refresh the dashboard here you will see that uh, BI on demand has not reflected the changes as there is no direct synchronization there yet. So we, s we, will we would need now to go to the administration module to the BI on demand integration configuration and we'll select the uh, relevant query balance and credit line and just re-upload it. And if I would now refresh this dashboard, you can see the changes. So with this I would like to end the presentation. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.